So now we're going to soak off this nail. Okay, so you can either use the gold file or the angle file. You want what you want is a, a grit. This is a hundred grit. We just want to we want to scratch up the surface. And it doesn't mean you have to get in there and you know remove all the shine. What you want to do is make this so the solvent, the soak away solution can penetrate through and get right through the gel. And what it does is it releases it from your nail plate. So this is what we want to do. So we've scratched up the nail surface to allowing the soak away to penetrate through. Okay, so now I'm going to take the foil and I use just the heavy duty uh, foil, the Reynolds wrap, whatever. Um, you can use the foil from the hairdressers, you know, the pre-cut, but I find it's a little thinner. So I like the heavy duty. Again, it's your choice. I place it underneath Deb's finger. Now I have to uh, be careful of my nails because I have gel on my nails. So of course the soak off solution will, the soak away will take off my nails. So I want to be careful. You can either wear gloves, or you can, when we use the, the press cotton, I prefer the press cotton over cotton balls. It, it just sits well on the nail. And the press cotton, you can just lay right across. So what I want to do is I want to saturate this. And again, this had the red plugs in. I just put a couple holes in the into the red plug. I leave the red plug in. So then you're not wasting product. It's not going to all pour out when you squeeze the bottle. Okay, so I want to saturate this. And I want to place it across Deb's nail. All right. And now I'm going to wrap the nail. Now I never want to squeeze on the actual nail where I've placed the cotton because you'll squish out the solution and then it'll be sitting at the bottom of her finger instead of on the nail. So you just want to press. So now the client can clumsily, you know, once all fingers are wrapped, you wrap all fingers, um, she can look through a magazine, you know, like I say, clumsily, but at least she can do it. She's sitting there. When you're soaking in a little bowl, what it does, first of all, the client will see how it's doing and keep pulling it out. So she's, you know, stopping the process and then putting it back in. So it's lengthening the time. Plus, I feel that it's a, a real waste of product. This way, you're using very little product. You're controlling it. It's going exactly where you want it. And then if you also wanted to, because you could... Dip, nothing is leaking out when Depp lifts her hand. There's nothing on the table. It's not showing, it's not dripping out on her finger. So you could place this whole hand into a paraffin wax. You could add, have an add-on treatment. The heat of the paraffin wax will speed up the removal. And then she also gets an extra treatment. You have an extra service to add on as part of the soak off. So this will take 10 minutes. This nail will be released from the nail plate in 10 minutes time. Okay, so we're ready for to remove the foil. And I'm just going to pull it off. And I'm going to take the flat part of the orange wood stick. And I don't know if you can see that here, but it's just flaking off. Oops. Put that there.
and you never ever want to force it off. You want to, now if you remember this is a sculpt. So if it's not ready, it's just been, oh I'd say about eight minutes, seven, eight minutes and I wanted to check it because I wanted to show you. If you feel like you're forcing off, you want to rewrap the finger. Now inside there, it's still wet. I'm going to put it back on and it's going to continue for the last couple of minutes. Okay, so it's now 10 minutes. We'll, we'll pull it off and here we go. Coming much better. And remember this is was the sculpt that we did. So this is going to just come right off. Now you can, you know, either use the orange wood stick or you can use your rounded end of your implement and just be scraping. Again, I'm not forcing anything off. If you, like the last time when I, it was not ready at eight minutes, just the top layer, you just want to rewrap. It really takes 10 minutes. That little piece right there. There we go. And that's your soak off. Now at this point, you would have, wonderful, you would have the client go wash her hands to remove any of the excess of the soak away solution that could be sitting, you know, just in her side walls, you know, cleanse up the hand because you want to remove um, this before you start the service. And it's not a case of soaking her hand. She's just going in, washing her hands, um, you know, like she normally would and drying them and then coming back and then we would start on with whatever service she's doing. 